Welcome back everybody. I am John Carnage and I am here at New York Comic Con 2012 and I'm standing in front of Triforce. Welcome to right? the booth. The yes. Triforce booth, right? Well, what's going on here? Uh, Triforce is creators of one-to-one -one scale prop replicas from the most popular video games available today. We have Gears of War, we have Mass Effect, we have Batman, we have Warhammer, we have Darksiders, we are adding Injustice Gods Among Us and The Last of Us. So lots of cool titles. So The Last of Us, yes. that's amazing. Yes, it will be. I, I, and you probably can't talk about what you're working on, right? Or uh, can you? I mean, we're going to be making character statues oh, with wow. some of the infected. We're going to be doing multi-character pieces, so it should wow. be really cool. That is amazing. I, I didn't expect to hear you say The Last of Us. And another thing when I walked over, because I'm, I'm so used to seeing the badass weaponry, right? The, the, the fake, real-looking weapons. That, that is the best way to explain some of this stuff, right? And That's futuristic, us. right? Because look at that. Look at that, that Mass we, Effect gun. That's you out you of name this world. the universe. We, <laughs> out of this world. No out of this intended. world, right? Totally. So when I came over here, I totally forgot that you guys sculpted the Gears of War. But yes. then I saw that bad boy right there, Mr. Death himself, Mr. Darksiders 2. Tell me more about that. Well, this piece was of Death and Dust was originally designed to be for a special edition, but THQ decided to go in a different direction and never wanted to make it. We love the sculpt. We love the game. We love Joe Matarera. We love Vigil. We're going to take this piece and we're going to blow it up. So instead of 11 inches, the final piece is going to be about 26 inches from bottom of the base to the tip of the scythes. It's going to come with interchangeable sites. They're going to have LEDs really? in them. What? Yeah, the, we have it's going to be like a party. We have the large scale version of one of the, the other pair of sites you're going to get. So that is amazing. And Joe, was he a part of uh, the sculpting? Joe was a part of the sculpting. Joe was a part of the colors. Joe was a part of the design. And we always we love Joe. Like I said earlier, we wanted to do a piece that was full on Joe Matarero. So it, it, no, you've act, you've literally captured the <laughs> artwork. You. And and THQ really did a fantastic job with Darksiders too. I, I love the first the, game, I love the second game, oh, absolutely. The second game, they, they captured the magic of his work as well. Oh, but you brought it to life. That's and, what we do. And, so I could touch it. That's and I can mess do. around with the little <laughs> size, right? So this thing right over here, right? Yes. I can't tell what it is from this end. Sure. It, to well, me, it looks we, like a, a shield of some sorts. But what is this? This is actually our Nightwing Escrima Stick piece. Okay. So now it makes sense. Okay. We, we love the Batman universe. Right. We love the Arkham games. We wanted to do something that nobody had ever done before. You know, our Batarang replica, it's our version. But yes, people have done Batarangs. We did the Riddler trophies. Very cool. We really wanted to do something completely that you know, nobody ever seen so it comes with his armor it comes with the two Escrima sticks that go in the armor two additional ones it has his wrist arts and some hidden compartments in the middle compartment there's a, it's like his kind of memory box so to say it's got his Robin symbol it's right. all damaged and beaten up That's awesome. and it's gonna have a flying Grayson poster just to give a little bit of the so Dick Grayson cool. backstory. No, that that is brilliant. I, I'm really happy that you're doing something with Nightwing. Like that, that's right. Like he's, not, he's love, overlooked, but yeah. he's, when they got rid of the the pigtail, that's when <laughs> that's when he, he really he kind got of, cool. He right? got cool, no right? Doubt, it was no the doubt. little pigtail, it was almost like a little mullet. <laughs> he was like, I want to like him, but I don't know if I can. He's got these cool weapons and stuff, but that pigtail thing in the back is just not not working for me. Right, no doubt. But that is amazing. So thank you. Out of all these weapons here, right? Okay. If there was a zombie invasion, which one of these weapons would you grab? Well, the, well, the first thing I would do is I'd probably grab the torque bow, which we just unveiled today from Gears. It's got explosive power. Plus, I'd look kind of badass with it. Right. Uh, I could shoot people from a distance, that kind of thing. But mostly, you know, then I, you really can't right. go wrong. I mean, any one of these is ideal for zombie, yeah, yeah, alien yeah. invasion, home defense. Right. right. It just is. You know. <laughs> alien anyway. invasion, home and, defense. And, and if I was feeling macho, I'd grab the chainsaw. I'd grab the scythe. If I needed to do some hand-to-hand -hand stuff. That's amazing. So. so you've literally covered so many amazing replicas here from all different realms of the world. What's that one thing you really want to make? Well, honestly, it was very exciting to take a crack at a batarang um, because, again, it is so iconic. It is so universal. Everybody knows what the Batarang is, and we put our little spin on it. But we're really, I'm really excited we were able to unveil the Torque Bow. Uh, moving forward, our Injustice pieces are going to be two character battle dioramas, but it's going to be full. They're going to be fully, you know, beating each other's senses, really going at it, much in the vein of the game. So we're excited for that. Walls blowing up. 
buildings crumbling, people, whatever, whatever is whatever in your, we can do. whatever you can do on on a scale or whatever. You, I guess it doesn't <laughs> matter. You guys make it big or small. Uh, the characters, the characters themselves will probably uh, be about twelve inches each. Okay, but we're it's we're going we're going to go vertical. We're going yeah, to go yeah. horizontal. A lot of these characters can fly. So yeah, so flying out of the planet. Wouldn't that be amazing? Who knows? That's Flash being punched up in the world by Superman. Well, this is your world, not mine. <laughs> I, I don't want to give you, you know, I don't want to take uh, listen, away from I'm your... Listen, I'm more than happy to listen to ideas, okay, absolutely. Well, yeah. Let's, let me get the notepad well, out. Yeah, well, notepad or an iPad. Do people still write? <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I said uh, I'm a little bit older, so, you know, I have to say notepad still. <laughs> sure, okay. Well, I'm, I, I'm hands-on still. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for this. Thank you for guys this. for coming by. And, uh, you can check us out online at www.projecttriforce.com. Or if you're at the show, booth 1057, definitely swing by. All right, and we'll be right back with more right here on the official New York Comic Con 2012 stream.